is Misha Jess and this is part three of a three-part vocal warm-up. So today we're going to focus on how to warm up our voices and use our voices. Um, if you haven't seen part one or part two, I recommend that you go and watch those first and then come and join me here. So we've got to remember everything that we've worked on. Our bodies are nice and relaxed from the stretching that we've done. And we're still always thinking about that balloon that's sitting in here. When we breathe in, the balloon gets bigger, our tummies go out. And then when the balloon gets smaller, our tummies go back in again. So that's something always have to remember. Right, if you can stand, that would be great. You want to make sure that your feet are hip distance. If you need to sit down, that's fine. Just sit a bit further forward on your chair with your feet on the ground. And when I'm doing this, I might use my hand to show if we're going to sing really high or really low, but you want to make sure that you're looking at something in front of you so that your head doesn't move with my hand. So find something in front of you, maybe a picture or maybe the mirror and focus on that and try not to follow my hand. So to start with, what we're going to do is we're going to say the word sing. Sing. Can you say that? Sing. Have a listen and see what I'm doing now when I say it. Sing. I'm holding on to the N and the G at the end of sing. I'll do it again. Have a listen. Sing. Can you try that with me now? Let's try it together. Sing. Very good. Have a listen this time. I'm going to make sure that I'm using my balloon and I'm filling my lungs up. Have a listen and see what I'm doing this time. and I went down low to my lower range of my voice. I'll do it again and this time you might want to join in. So make sure that you're all nice and relaxed and we'll have a breath in through the nose and we'll go Some of you might have better breath than me, maybe you're still going. That would be fantastic. But let's try it again. So we'll go in Breathe into the nose, and we go Scognal. Right, let's try it the other way around. So instead of starting high in our voice this time, we're going to start in our low voice. So we have a listen and see how it sounds. It sounds like this. We're still saying sing. Sing. other way around. So why don't you try it with me this time. So we're going to have a nice breath in through the nose. Off we go. Scognal. Just still make sure that you're looking forwards. Let's try it again. We'll maybe do it a little bit longer this time. So in we breathe. might be going well done if you are. Let's put those two together this time. I'm going to start high and we're going to come to our low range and then we're going to go back up. So we have to go a bit faster this time because we need a little bit more breath to get to the end. So we'll breathe in through the nose, keep your shoulders nice and loose and relaxed and let's go shall we? So we'll start high. How did you do? Maybe you lasted longer than I did. Well done. So if you want to try a few of those on your own, please do it and you can pause the video and try a few out. But we're going to move on and I'm going to tell you a couple of stories. And both of these stories have sound effects that go along with them. So what you're going to do is you're going to listen first, I'll do it, and then I'll ask you to join in and copy me. So the first story is about a little fly and the fly is in between your thumb and your finger. You can hold your fly up. And your fly sounds like this. So when your fly gets higher, the sound your voice makes, your voice goes higher. And then when the, the fly gets low, when you have the fly lower, your voice gets lower as well. So why don't you try that with me? So we're doing So let's try that, shall we? Mm -hmm. 
Maybe some of you have got really, really fast flies and maybe some of yours are a bit slower. It's totally up to you. So that's the first part of the story. We've got this fly. And then, oh, we decided we want to kind of catch the fly now. So we're going to go splat. So let's try that, shall we? Splat. It's gone. Yeah, so we've caught the fly. And once we've got it, we're going to hold it in our hands and we're going to do this. Have a listen. <laughs> So you need to let your face go and you need to make some sounds because we're going to shake our faces. You ready? It's gone. Yeah, so let's try that from the top. So we've got our flies. It's going to go zzz, 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 splat! So to continue the story, we've got fly in our hands. We're going to open it up and have a look. But the fly's not there, so we're gonna go, huh? Ah, uh, and we've not got the fly. But then I caught it, and we're gonna swallow it. We'll make a big gulping noise. And then we go, ah. But we realise we've just swallowed a fly, so we're gonna go, yuck! So that's the last pit. So we're gonna catch the fly. So when you join in from us catching the fly, we're gonna open our hands, and we're gonna go, huh? And then we catch it, we're gonna swallow it. And we're gonna go <sighs> or yuck. So let's try it from the top then. So we've got our fly. Spot. Yeah, so you might want to try that a couple more times. You can even add to the story if you wanted. Maybe there's a, another fly, maybe something else could happen. It's totally can be, uh, use your imagination and make up more sound effects for it. Right, so the other little story I'm going to tell you is about a little man. And the little man lives on your palm, so you need to put your palm up. Have a listen to the sound that the little man makes, and then you can join in. So the little man sounds like this. Little man. And the little man, he gets on an elevator. So he goes, bing, oh, bing. And then he puts on a parachute. So try that. And then jumps off the top. Whoa, splat. So try that one with me. Whoa, splat. And that's the story of the little man. It's not a very happy story at the moment. So let's try that. So we're going to put our palm out. The little man's going to make his little sound. Ready? Do, 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 Elevator. Bing. Ooh. Bing. Parachute. Ch -ch -ch. Jumps off the top. Woo. Splat. And the best thing about this story is that we can turn it into whatever we want and anything can happen to this little man. In this video, I'm just going to decide what happens. But you could pause this and you can make up your own story. But the most important thing is it must have a sound effect. So for my story, I'm going to say that the little man, when he jumps off the top of the roof, he lands on a, bou a bouncy castle. And instead of going splat, he goes boing, 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 splat. Instead, so let's go from the top. So here we go. Do, 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 Bing. Oh, bing, ch ch, woo, boing, 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 splat. Did you follow it? It's gone, yeah, all right. Okay, what else is going to happen in my story? He's going to get on a motorbike. So he's going to go for a walk and he's going to get on a motorbike. And so the motorbike sounds like this. Can you do that with your lips? So that's how it's gonna sound. So let's go from the top. So he's going for a walk first. Bing. Oh, bing. Ch -ch. Woo. Boing, boing, boing. Spot. Right, so the last thing for my story that I'm gonna add is that when he splats, he doesn't actually land on the bouncy castle he lands in a in a in the sea and in the sea is a shark 
hmm, what sound am I gonna make for my shark? I think I'm gonna go na 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 na. So let's go from the top. Hope you can remember it all. And um, so let's go. A little man, ready? Do 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 do. Bing. Ooh, bing. And I've totally, I've totally done it wrong. Oh, we're gonna have to start again because I totally forgot about the motorcycle. So let's go, ready? Bing, oh, bing. Woo, boing, 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 splash. Did you follow it? No, we had to start again. Just shows you the more that you add in, the harder it is to remember. So remember that when you're making up your own. But please do try, make up your own stories and share them with other people and share the sound effects because everybody's got such good ideas. It's always good to steal some of what people come up with. Right, well, well done, everybody. Thank you for taking part in this three part. And remember to come back and try it again. And maybe you can think about other stuff that you can do to add to it, because it is all about that. Well, tap leave.